Okay, this video is going to concentrate on learning how to do binary subtraction. So the binary subtraction is very similar to addition, but we need to have learned how to use two's complement rules first before we start doing the subtraction. So if you've not yet had a look at the video for two's complement, then do have a look at that first. Okay, so let's take, for instance, a number, say, 60, and we want to subtract say 32. So what we need to do is work out initially what 60 is in binary. So 60 will be 32 plus 16 which will give us our 48. That will give us 56. This gives us 60 and so we've got a zero and a zero there. Okay, if we want to subtract 32, then what we need to do is basically find what negative 32 is. And how we do that, we use the twos complement. So let's find out, first of all, what 32 is in binary. And that's an easy one, because that is just this. So we know that this is 60, and we know that the next one is 32. So to get minus 32, let's apply the 2's complement of up to and including the first one. We keep as is, and then the rest of the zeros we turn into 1's, and that gives us minus 32. Now the easiest way now is to remove 32 from the equation so we don't get confused. So there goes 32 and we're left with 60 and minus 32. And now it's simply adding these together. So 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1, 0 plus 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1, 0 plus 1 plus 1 is 0. We carry the 1, but we're only operating in 8 bits. So that 1 in subtraction doesn't cause an overflow, it just disappears. So we can remove that. This gives us then, if we work out what the column headings are, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and if we check 16 plus 8 plus 4 gives us 28. Let's check this. Is 60 minus 32 28? It is. And so that shows us how we do subtraction in binary. Going to look at one more example, and this one's going to end up with a negative number. So let's take something like, um, let's take 19. And we're going to take away 29. Okay, so we start off 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. So we're going to work out what 19 is. So 19 is 16 plus 2 plus 1. So that gives us our 19. We're going to work out what 29 is. So 29 is our 16 plus 8 plus 4 which give us 28 29 so to get minus 29 we apply 2's complement up to and including the first one leave as is then all the rest swap zeros become 1's and 1's become zeros. so this is minus 29 like I said before, we can then remove the positive 29 line. We've only done that in order to, to work out minus 29. And add the two together. 1 plus 1 gives us 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives us 1, carry the 1. 0 plus 0 plus 1 gives us 1. 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 
Now from the answer we can determine that this is a negative number because the most significant bit is a 1. Now what we could do, we could write the column headings over the top so we would end up with 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, minus 128 and we can calculate that way or well, the easiest way is to apply 2's complement to the answer. We can apply 2's complement because we know it's a negative number. Up to and including the first one, leave as is, swap the rest around. 1, 2, 4, 8. So this gives us 10, which means the answer is minus 10. Let's check. 19 minus 29 equals minus 10. That is correct. So that shows you how to do subtraction using binary numbers.